Hi, my name is John Glazer, Director of Applications Engineering at Efficient Power Conversion. Today I want to talk to you about our EPC 9126 Pulsed Laser Driver Board for LiDAR. The EPC 9126 is a high-speed pulse driver used for laser diodes using the EPC 2016C FET. The superior figure of merit of this FET, combined with the low inductance of the chip scale package, allows very high laser pulses in extremely short times. The high power gives you long range for your LiDAR and the short pulses give you superior resolution. LiDAR uses ultra short pulses of laser light to measure the distance to objects by sending the pulse out and looking at the reflection. The shorter the pulse, the better the resolution and the higher power of the pulse, the greater the range. The EPC 2016C allows laser pulses of up to 75 volts and up to 30 amps and pulse widths of well under five nanoseconds. What you see here in this demo is on the left hand side is our EPC 9126 laser diode driver board and on the right is a high speed optical receiver to capture the laser pulses. So if we take a close look at the EPC 9126 what you see is it has numerous inputs and outputs. This allows you to measure key waveforms such as a laser diode current, transistor voltage, gate voltage, and capacitor discharge voltage. And here we have our EPC 9126 EGAN FET. And just above that, we have a surface mount laser diode. Right now, we're driving this laser di diode at a frequency of one kilohertz with pulses of about 27 amps with a 60 volt capacitor voltage. These pulses are being sent to the right from the laser diode to the optical receiver. If we look at the oscilloscope, we can see the key waveforms from the EPC 9126. The drain voltage waveform starts at 60 volts in this case and drops to nearly zero volts in about a nanosecond to a nanosecond and a half. If we look at the orange waveform, we're looking at the laser diode current, which reaches a peak current of about 28 amps in about two nanoseconds and drops to zero amps in about another two nanoseconds. And finally, if we look at the purple waveform, we're looking at the output of the optical receiver, where we see that the laser pulse has a width of about four nanoseconds. So this again demonstrates the superior performance of EGAN FETs in a pulsed laser driver application. For more information, visit our website at epc-co.com.